My name is Kyra Nipasco, representing the capital city of the Philippines, Manila. My city is found in the northern island of Luzon. And this year, my city is going to celebrate its 446 years of being declared as a city. There are many important and relevant historic sites found here, such as Luneta Park, Manila Bay, Entramuros, and beautiful churches such as Gapo Church, Manila Cathedral, and San Agustin Church, just to name a few. I am a medical physicist by profession. I work in one of the most prestigious hospitals in the Philippines under the Department of Radiation Oncology. I was also an instructor from the University of Santo Tomas teaching mathematics and physics. To balance everything, I studied fashion design to pursue my love for arts and also a fashion and health enthusiast. As a physicist, I understand the importance of daily consumption of energy. That is why I am advocating about the conservation of energy and the embrace of renewable and sustainable energy in exchange for fossil fuels, which gives a huge percentage for the reason of global warming and climate change. The first step is knowing, but the critical part is acting on it. The change has to start from within us. It should not be initiated from other people, because that is the greatest voice you can ever give to others. There are simple ways you can start by five R's. The first one is rethink. In all our ways, we should always remember that we should be socially responsible because the earth is our common home. The second is reuse. Let us embrace the use of eco bags in exchange for plastic and paper bags. The third is reduce. This starts from our home. Conserve energy as you use your appliances, gadgets, and equipment as our era is about the modernization of technology. The care for Mother Earth should not be compromised. And as we do this, we are cutting carbon emissions that causes global warming. The fourth is recycle. Be creative and use materials such as plastic bottles for other purposes to help the environment. And lastly, but surely, and not the least, is respect. Let us learn to respect Mother Earth because it is one of the greatest gifts that God has given us. As a former teacher, I believe that education is one of the greatest investments. Start students as young as they are, and they will be equipped to continue the work we have started in preserving the environment. I believe that not only having a unique or new project will help the environment, but continuing and strengthening what others have started is one of the greatest ways we can help, not just for this generation, but also for the generations to come. One of the relevant activities I've participated in is the clogging the garbage, such as plastics. It is done by our barangay on a quarterly basis with funds from the local government. It is a way of removing garbage in the drainages to avoid flooding in the area. Does this place look familiar to you? This used to be the Smoky Mountain of Tundo, Manila. Not everyone knows what happened to this place after it was cleaned up. Let me show you around. This is now a tenement area. This place can still be developed by removing any residual garbage left and developing more renewable energy in the community. Since a city contributes to a huge amount of daily consumption of energy, it will do a big help to the environment as we cut carbon emissions by embracing renewable energy. I want to be the next Miss Philippine Third 2017 because I'm going to use this as my platform to share my voice, my advocacy, and to be a great example to other people as I cater environmental awareness to people's consciousness. Together, as a global community, our micro-efforts will have a macro-effect to save Mother Earth. I am Karen Ibasco, your Miss Philippines Earth Manila, and I am a woman of the Earth.